Okay, hello YouTube. We're back again. So, we're gonna go inside. Finally. Yay! Doorbell. Hang on. Okay, so let's go inside and have a look. You've got some lights that turn on and off. Pretty cool. You have in here a kitchen. So you've got the fridge. And the fridge keeps things cold, obviously. There. You've got a freezer, which actually does freeze things. It turns zombie flesh into flesh. I don't know what the purpose of that is yet. I haven't figured that out. But it does. So, and this is the cooker where you can cook multiple things at once. Fairly neat. You have your cabinet to store food in. You have your TV and you can change the channel and turn it off and stuff. You have uh stereo this is a little sink thing that dispenses water buckets as you can see you've got another bin over here so let's see what about water bucket we don't need that dining room table and chairs pretty neat and you can use them as well so if i click to sit on them and go f5 see i am sitting in my kitchen chair looking over my stuff having a bowl Checking out my paintings. Pretty neat. Okay. <laughs> so that's the kitchen basically. You've got vines and curtains and all that. These lights also turn on and off. Oh, you heard me say in the other video about another golem that it should set there. It's the snow golem there. I love the snow golem. Making sure everything's safe. Okay, so we have a little swimming pool area here with a waterfall. Pretty neat. Diving board. Whee! Lights in the bottom of the pool, so the pool lights up. It's pretty cool. Lily pads. Lily pads. Okay, we have over here, we have a guest bathroom in case people want to change. And we have a toilet. Really neat. Then we go out here, we have a guest shower. Want to shower off after they've had a nice dip in the pool. And it actually works. Oh, oops. It actually works, and you can close the door and, like, be like, oh, it's nice and private now. So, yeah, really neat. And you've got a spread that spreads potions. This one is healing potions. Pretty nifty. Close. Close. Thank you. I have a chest over here for all your potions. I have another chest over here. I don't think anything's in there. No, nothing in there. Okay, down here is going to be the storage area. I'll show you quickly. There's nothing down here yet. Empty. Other than lights and... Yeah. So this is going to be the storage area, so you don't actually have to leave your house to collect anything. It's just, it's all delivered down under here. Pretty neat. Ah ha ha, pain inside. Oh, that was painful. Okay, up here you've got your sofa. And you've got your TV, obviously, and your stereo. Pretty neat. More sofas. You've got a uh, jukebox. So you can get your records out and you can play your records. Nifty, nifty, nifty. Okay, over here you have a printer. And the printer actually prints things. So let's say you take this book and you wrote something in it. Hi. And you signed it and you named it and you hit sign and close you would have yourself a book that you could open and you could read right but what would happen if you wanted more than one book of the same kind you just have to write it out again well no not with this because it actually one copies it so while that's doing that i'm gonna get the emerald and i'm gonna show you how to use a computer computer you can buy things with the chairs tables Tables, tables, cabinets, sofas, 
um, blinds, curtains, lights, cooker, cooker hood, fridge, mailbox, uh, edges, fences, bird bus, tap, pathway, all that sort of poppy stuff. You just click, you put your emerald in, or however many emeralds it costs, and you click buy. And it delivers it to you, and it's pretty awesome. So if I took away that, I put that, and like you can use them. As you can see, I am sitting in the chair. Like, so it's not just like fake stuff, it's like, you can use it. It's pretty cool. Whoa. Okay, let's get it out of the way. Get a piece of carpet. Because we don't want to be destroying anything. We have to keep the place nice and tidy. Okay, so get the carpet back. Let's see what is this doing. And you can see you've got your two books. Pretty nifty, and you can check them to see if they work. Hi, and um, second one says hi, and you can pass these out to your friends and be done. Pretty neat, guys. Right, so in here we have our little library. Pretty ordinary, just sleeping areas. In here is like a quiet little sitting area. You put your ladders to go up to the top shelves. Up here you've got a little tiny hallway, pretty cool. Here is your bathroom, stereo obviously. You've got your toilet, you've got your bath, you've got your shower over here, works exactly the same as the other shower. Nifty. Okay, here is oh, oops. Here is a little extra bonus bit that I thought was pretty cool. Let's say you have a whole pile of stuff to smelt. Well, you have got your very own smelting area plus steam room. So let's say you just put your stuff in, and it will smelt it for you. And you can relax. I watch TV, the listen to stereo, or whatever you want to do, and it just smells away. You can sit and chill. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'll let that work away. Let's go to the very last room. Well, besides this one, this is like a little closet, walk in wardrobe, I guess you'd say. Okay, this is the bedroom, and you may be wondering why it's so dark in here and why all these blinds, which do open and close, are closed and all the lights are turned off. It's because look at that ceiling. Isn't that amazing? I love that ceiling it took me ages to build that. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed with that. So, that is why I just want to keep it nice and dark in here so that you can see the beautiful ceiling. But now that you've seen it, I'll turn the lights on so you can see them properly. I'll turn them on, turn them on, turn them on, turn on. Okay, so you have your beds here. You have your TV. You have your creepy skulls. You have your stereo. You have your bookcases and your seats to sit sit in them we paintings, all that happiness. So a random tree growing in the middle of it. I thought that was a pretty neat decoration scene as a tree house. That painting has always given me the creeps. It's like, why the hell would some random girl be sitting, posing, holding a half sheep, half pig thing? Creepy. Anyway. So that is that. I hope you enjoy. Um, as time goes on, I will be adding more to this, obviously. I'm going to have like, a whole pile of farms like I had in my other one and just have everything transported under the house. So you'll get to see my super awesome transportation system that I designed myself. Pretty neat. So just to cap this off, we're going to go and we're going to check the cooker. See if all the stuff cooked. Yep, all the stuff cooked. Awesome. 
all that cooked. You're awesome, large, yummy. Oh, what the hell happened there? So yeah, that is us, and I hope you enjoy. Bye!